Breaking. Civil war about to erupt in Texas after what rabid mob of migrants did at Capitol, Texas has been the state leading the crackdown on illegal immigration lately, proving to be President Trump's biggest ally when it comes to making America safe again and keeping these vermin out. Texas legislators have just passed an incredible new bill that will force local governments to enforce federal immigration laws, which isn't sitting too well for Texas Democrats or illegals residing in Texas. Bitter and refusing to go down without a literal physical fight, the city of Austin has now erupted into total chaos overnight, after the sickening thing that Democrats did to Texas Republicans who authored the bill, pushing the city to a brink of civil war with their terroristic threats. Democrats will always fight tooth and nail to keep illegals in America, as they understand that illegals are vital to keeping them in power. Illegals in turn will always vote straight Democrat, in order to secure their place in America along with all their freebies and government handouts. So when illegals in Texas knew their free ride was coming to an end, as Texas will now uphold federal immigration laws, they immediately swarmed the state capitol and began going nuts. In a scene reminiscent of The Walking Dead, the frenzied crowd of illegals went totally ballistic, screaming and holding up signs, proclaiming to alarmed bystanders that even though they were illegals, they weren't going anywhere. As the horde of rabid illegals held up their homemade signs while stupidly telling everyone they were breaking the law, Republican Matt Rinaldi of Irving, a fervent supporter of the new anti-immigration legislation bill, then approached Democrats hilariously announcing that he had just called U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement to report the illegal protesters. That's when everything was transformed into complete chaos. Absolutely livid that Rinaldi was calling ICE to report their precious illegals, Democrats at the state capitol began to physically attack Rinaldi. Democrat Pancho Navarras threatened to kill him, after violently shoving him. Another nasty then Democrat joined in the violent assault, telling Rinaldi, I'll put a bullet in your head. Below is Rinaldi's tweet about the incident, where he is now in fear of his life and under full protection by state authorities. Dallas News reported, the Democrats were enraged. A shoving match ensued, and lawmakers accused one another of making violent threats. In a prepared statement, Rinaldi said he called ICE officials to report the protesters who held signs that declared they were unauthorized immigrants. The protesters became so noisy that security officials escorted many of them from the House gallery. Rinaldi said that he rebuked his colleagues for inciting the protesters, which are illegal, and that the House members threatened him physically. I made it clear that if he attempted to, in his words, get me, I would shoot him in self-defense, Rinaldi said in a statement he shared on Twitter. I am currently under DPS protection. Rinaldi left the House floor shortly after the incident and the door to his office was locked. Rep. Pat Fallon, R. Fresco, said he interrupted the shoving lawmakers when he heard the scuffle. This isn't the schoolyard, he said. I just walked right into the middle, and I was begging them, people, please, not on the House floor. Fallon said he was disappointed that frayed nerves had led to such an inappropriate scene among legislators. It's sad for the last day of the session to go out like that, he said. House Speaker Joe Strauss, in a prepared statement, said, There's no excuse for members making insensitive and disparaging remarks on the floor of the Texas House. Liberals keeping it classy as usual. Ever since Hillary lost the election, liberals around the country have upped their vitriol to startling new levels, as they're proving to us that there's truly no lengths of depravity they're unwilling to engage in order to get their way. Even though the people of Texas wanted this new immigration law, where this bill was legally passed through legislative means, their petulant children willing to physically fight lawmakers, threatening to literally blow off Republicans' heads for not getting their way. H slash T Dallas News. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.